there are few things customers love more than being able to add uh, their own name or personalize something that they're getting made for themselves. Let's go ahead and learn how to use text in QCAD in order to make that happen. Good morning and welcome to Capable of Many Things. I'm James and this is going to be uh, exploring text in QCAD. If you've looked at some of the other videos, we've gone over some of the basic tools, some of the basic shapes where we're going to work with those here and in the later video we may start working with slotting uh, characters especially when you're doing reductive work things like CNC plaz um, but this is just going to cover the basics of working with text in QCAD now QCAD has a, uh, a a text tool here on the left hand side it's this little letter A we're going to go ahead and select that and go over some of the features uh, some of the ways that you can uh, utilize that tool so we'll click on that and let's go with capable of many things here we go haha all right so we have our text field here this is where we're gonna go and add whatever text that we want to do in this case we're putting the name of the channel we can select the font from their selection of fonts here um, I'm just gonna go ahead and stick with Arial. Arial maybe we can do Arial black if we want to height let's talk about height height is going to be whatever the drawing unit is so if you've done all of your other uh, other work up to this point if you set up your drawing correctly um, it's going to be whatever base units you selected when you set your default drawing or when you adjusted this drawing right now I have it set in inches so all of my text is going to be one inch large now this is important because as you're designing things for manufacturing uh, the uh, rather than having to sort of guess and try to stretch the words to fit or stretch the characters to fit within the space we want to make sure that we're measuring and correctly applying the right size and um, shape to, um, to the letters here. Now we have options here like bold and italic. I'm not going to be pursuing those here, but if I wanted to, I can just select all the letters. Now I've done that by clicking and dragging across these letters with my mouse. And I've made them all, in this case, blue. It may be different on your system, and I can select bold and to remove the bold or italic. All right. So we have our text, we have a couple of other items here, we have a uh, line space factor, and you have angle, we can uh, adjust the way this looks. Uh, we'll show you a couple examples here, um, and adjust accordingly, and we have our alignment. So if you've seen the other videos, you've seen that there's a little red dot here, and I'm going to zoom in so that you can take a look at that. Um, little red dot here, this shows the placement, so where you're going to be able to control or place this item. Uh, within your drawing. So let's say you are building a drawing and you're making a reference point. Uh, and you've made a reference point in the middle. You want to select it from the middle of it, uh, from the middle of the text, so that you can place it accurately. Um, if you select it from the side, you may misalign accordingly, especially if you have everything adjusted to be symmetrical and on center. So I'm going to go ahead and actually select the middle here and just hit. Uh, okay. All right. So this is at a one inch scale. I'm just going to hit the center dot here. And that is text. Now, as it sits right now, as we look at this text, very important here, you can't cut this. You can't manipulate this. You can't work with this in terms of uh, you export this file out to whatever processing system that you have, whether it's my plasm or if it's you know some other 3d processing software you're exporting this into fusion because you wanted to, to work with it whatever the case might be vcarve for uh working with uh routers whatever it is um here you you won't cut this this isn't this isn't a workable file this isn't uh, vectors these aren't items that will be cut so when you export it over there and you go where did my words go well this is this is where it is it's just text on a page it's not vectors and we need to change that and there is a simple tool that allows us to change that um, here we go select the word go up to let's see I believe it's modify and select explode Boom. And now 
it's cuttable. Technically, you can take this over to whatever machine that you use to, to do your work, and you can cut this. But in its current state, it's actually not editable. I can do some minor adjustments, but let's say we need to add some slots or add other characteristics to this. We actually need to make this uh, editable. In order to do that, we select it by clicking and dragging a box over this. You drag your mouse over to the top right hand side and you select everything. Go to modify and hit explode one more time. Boom. And now we can start to manipulate this. And the way I mean here is um, by let's use our square tool here. And I'm going to show you something that we'll be discussing in another video. Um, but I will place a little square. It's one inch uh, tall by about a sixteenth of an inch, sorry, uh, by uh, about a sixteenth of an inch wide. I want to use a special tool you'll see in the next video. It's called a breakout tool. I can now start to remove lines from this drawing in order to create, let's see if I can get that, a, oh, ah, didn't get, didn't get the right, there we go, in order to cut a slot in this letter so that the center of it, if I'm doing a reductive process, doesn't fall out. And that'll be a topic of discussion later. So that is how you set up text within QCAD. That's how you get the characters there. That's how you make it editable. We're going to go heavy into some of these things next time. So for now, Thank you very much. Keep exploring. Keep trying things out. And if you want to see other videos, uh, feel free to check out the channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there is something that you've seen or something that you want to do, please feel free to fill out the form. We take requests all the time on uh, other softwares and other systems that you want to learn. So thank you very much and have a great day.